This is gonna be exciting. We're gonna do a fun challenge and I want to challenge one of our YouTube influencer and her name is Natalie. I'll put her last name down for you guys to see. And my challenge to you, Natalie, is I want you to recreate a set that's similar to my flame set, okay? Just similar, but it has to have some flame in there to make it hot. And before I get started on my video, I have a question for you guys also. What is the most difficult things for you to get down in the nails design? All right, guys, leave me your answer, and if I could help you answer that, I will do it and even if I can't, I still will help you. <laughs> All right guys, check it out. Bye. Okay guys, I already have the Not Polish Universal tips on. So I am gonna place this orange right there and make sure you flatten the top area. There you go and then you press the product onto the nail while you pull it down towards the tip of the nail okay guys and this color is M99 from Not Polish also and then when you get to the end we're gonna cut it off at the tip right there there you go and I'm gonna use my brush and just lightly press the product into the shape of the nail you see that how just keeping that shape and you know what I just want to add a little bit more orange to this look so I will go in with a tiny bit of orange right there and if you don't want to that's fine also okay I just want a little bit more orange so I'm gonna go in with a tiny bit more orange and I'm just gonna pull it down and while doing so I make sure I keep the nail very thin still okay and I'm gonna go in with the yellow this is M104 and you see how I place it right above, a tiny bit above where the orange is at, and I'm gonna pull it down. Let's see, and just pull it down. And I'm gonna go in with the second bead, and I'm gonna place it close to the cuticles right there, and I'm gonna lightly press, to press it into the cuticles, and then I'm gonna pull it down. And again, make sure you keep it thin because I will be encapsulating this in crystal clear powder, okay? And this color is M104, I don't know if I mentioned that, but it's, this yellow is M104 from Not Polish, okay guys? And then now, we're gonna go in with the crystal clear, and I am gonna place it above the transition of the ombre a little bit, you see? Just a bit above it, and then I'm gonna pull it down. And this crystal clear is also number one from Not Polish, okay guys? And now I'm just gonna pull it down towards the tip of the nail all right now this is done and dry I am gonna go in with the not polished five-in-one cross bit and I will shape the nails before I work on top of the nail you see how I am using the bit to shape the nails and to make it more taper you see that I feel like doing it this way I don't have to spend so much time hand filing my shape later okay and actually it saved me a lot of time and a lot of work doing it this way okay I'm just shaping the nails as you guys can see and what I love about this bit is it's also a safety bit so it allows me to do this without cutting the side of my clients finger okay guys but either way you have to be very um, careful when doing this okay you see how that's already bring my shape in a lot more there you go I'm just bringing the shape in first and then when I feel like that is good enough I am gonna work on top of the nail okay now that's done I am gonna go in and shape up with my hand file I'm just gonna shape the nails up okay there you go Ok 
Okay, so now I am gonna go in with a drill bit and just give it a tiny little touch right there just to thin it out at the tip just a tiny bit okay and then I'm going in and buff everything out nice and smooth and today I will be showing you guys how to do a different way of ombre so what we have right here is an ombre gel all right and then I'm gonna brush it directly on the nail like that you just brush it on the whole nail okay and then I am gonna cure it in the light for 30 seconds okay guys and now this is cure I am gonna go in with number 107 m107 I'm just gonna brush it directly on the tip of the nail you see that just cure the gel and then take it out and brush this color on remember I was telling you guys about using color acrylic as pigment this is what I'm talking about okay I am just using an acrylic color and rubbing it on as pigment and if you feel like that is not dark enough yet I am gonna go in and repeat the step again use the ombre gel I am gonna brush it on the whole nail cure it for 30 seconds okay now I'm gonna cure it for 30 seconds and that is cure I am gonna brush on the same color on the tip of the nail and you see how that just got darker instantly and you can make it as dark as you want just make sure you just repeat the same step okay guys the exact same step I'm telling you there you go see how nice and ombre that looks super easy right okay now that is done and I am happy with my ombre I am gonna go in with the gel base coat okay guys and I'm gonna brush it on and I'm gonna cure it for 30 seconds before I apply on my top coat matte or shiny or whatever the reason is this way it will help your ombre to last longer okay guys so it doesn't wear off at the end there you go and moving on to our next nail I am gonna be using number 110 okay and I will flatten that top area like that like almost like I'm doing ombre and I'm gonna now pull the product down to the end of the nail okay this is my method of to doing two beads application okay guys and again make sure you press the product into the nails while pulling it down to the tip of the nail and now I'm just gonna cut it off at the end like so and then I'm gonna go in with my brush lightly just press everything in to the nail you see that and I'm gonna show you how flat I made the top area you see that area you see how flat that is all right guys you want to make sure that's flat okay and then now I'm gonna go in with my second bead all right and make I'm gonna make sure I place it close to the cuticle but not too close and then I use my brush and just push it lightly into toward into the cuticles make sure it's nice and thin and now I'm gonna pull it down all the way to the end of the nail there you go and just make sure I pull it down all the way to the end of the nail And I am just gonna go over this real fast again with my 5-in-1 cross bit and just move everything out, all right? And then now I'm just gonna go in and hand file my shape. There you go. Yeah. Okay, now this is done. I am going to go in with the white gel and I will start by drawing the center of the flame first, okay? Always start with the center first. This way your flame won't end up looking crooked. You see that? Just draw the middle of the flame first in the middle of the nail and then you work your way out to the rest of the flame like this. Like this, okay? Now I'm just going to work my way out to the rest of the flame like so. And this is my little trick when doing flames, okay guys? I always start in the middle of the flame first and then work in my way out like so. There you go. And this way, my flame will always be center of the nail. And then that is done. I'm just gonna go in and color it in with the white gel. Okay, this is just a white gel polish and I'm just gonna go in and smooth it out. Make sure it's nice and smooth, okay? 
sure that it's sharp at the tail like so i'm just going to add in a little touch right here just like that and make sure i get the sharp end in like that okay and now i dry the nail for 30 seconds and then i'm gonna go in with the ombre brush if i'm not polished okay guys and i'm just gonna dust on this pigment okay this is actually pigment okay guys i'm just gonna rub it directly on top of the flame okay remember i already cured the flame for 30 seconds before i rub this on okay okay guys now i'm just gonna go in with the last color is a purple you see how blended this look is and after you are done to make sure this last long i am gonna brush on a gel base okay guys this is just a regular gel base coat i am gonna brush it on and i am gonna cure it for 30 seconds okay i am gonna cure it for 30 seconds there you go and then now this is cure i am gonna go in with my matte top coat and brush it on and then i will cure the matte top coat for 30 seconds doing it this way will help keep the color in without when your client goes for x amount of time it won't rub off as much okay guys and this is the finished product of the look okay you know what i feel like i should add some glitters to the flame so i'm just going to show you guys how to do the glitters as well so i'm just going to go in with now that everything is done, right? Everything is done, matte top coat, everything is done. I'm gonna go in with the gel builder, okay guys? Just a thin layer of gel builder. I am gonna brush it only on top of the flame. You see, I'm just gonna brush it only on top of the flame, like so. Okay, just on top of the flame. Make sure it's nice and thin, okay guys? Nice and thin. Okay, now the gel builder is still wet. I am gonna go in and brush on my non-cleansing gel top directly on top of the wet gel builder, okay guys? Just brush it on like so. Doing this will help your glitter to last longer on top of the nail, okay? And then before I cure, this is still wet, right? I am gonna go in and pour the loose glitter on top of the nail and now that is on there i am going to cure it for 30 seconds and then this is cure you take it out and brush it off and this is the finished product okay guys i hope you enjoyed the video and if you like it make sure you put me make sure i'm all over the place ring the bell leave me a comment subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like our video and for you natalie don't forget my challenge i am waiting on you all right, guys, I'll see you guys later.